assalamu alaikum my colleagues and uh, software engineers engineer world learners i am abdul kayum and i am here with you with uh, the lecture of section number 1 the core java of android software engineer course this is the section or section number 1 of course of becoming android software engineers with java so let's continue there are some contents i am briefly discuss about that there first we will learn about the history and evolution of java and then overview of the java there are some short topics also but um, we are not going inside this because i am i'm compa <coughs> comparing some important topics also this control statements then introduction to classes this also will all of will, will be included in the the java language or core java lecture section then inheritance and exception handling then multi threading and uh, generics lambda expressions modules and now this was short introduction to, to our contents of section number 1 let's start about <coughs> um because i'm merging here second uh, lecture number 4 5 five so i firstly decide to create an a uh, separate lecture for the course introduction and uh, contents of the section number 1 but uh, i decide it will be not good idea then i decide to merge Four and five inside it, and uh, I named it lecture number four. So don't be confused with <laughs> headings. And uh, this is first section introduction to Java. Now we are discussing what Java is and what we can do with it. Firstly, let's intro to the Java. Java is a simple, object-oriented, portable, interpreted, cross-platform programming language. Simple means it was firstly created based on syntax of the C and C plus plus, so it was uh, simple and easy to understand for the programmers who already have some <coughs> basic background with uh, C and C plus plus. So this. is simple and easy to learning for those and also this is simple language and uh, easy to understand for the beginners also and this is object oriented this object oriented uh, programming <coughs> top um, programming so we uh, work with uh, java in class and objects this is portable portable java define intermediate code as byte code so this code is portable and we can run it on any of platform interpreted this interpreted byte code so we can run on this code java code on any of platform like uh, ios mac android and uh, so we can create all of the just we need uh, JVM Java Virtual Machine and it's cross and cross platform. Mm, that means we can create application for the every platform by Java. We can application for internet using Java applets. We can also create uh, web web applications by using Java applets. We can create server side applications using Java servlets, which means we can use uh, server side language as Java. Java is a multi-threading programming language, so we can create 
programs for the multi core processors multi gen for cpus and uh, java also support parallel programming by fork join framework which help us to use efficiently a multi core processor parallel programming means we can program applications for effectively for the multi core processors which uh, has multi cores and we can um, run our threads on multiple cores independently concurrently java is scale sensitive language means this both worlds this main and this main are not same which means it case matters in java then we are here to dig inside the some history and evolution how java evolved in <coughs> evolved so now we are going to discuss about some java creation history java was conceived by james gosling at sun microsystems in 1995 means java was uh, Mm, created by James Gosling at Sun Microsystems uh, company in 1995. Its uh, uh, teammates were Bill Joy, Arthur Van Hoff, Jonathan Penny, Frank Jalen, and Tim Lindlow. Him were key contributors to the mastering, maturing of the original prototype. Java's first version came in 18 months. Initially, Java was named as Awk but renamed in 1995 as java because java's creation in, in, initiated in 1993 and uh, its first version completed in 18 months and uh, then its prototype renamed as java java has an inheritance sentence from c and c++ so it is easy for c and c++ developers Every programming language, innovation and development occurs for two fundamental reasons. Means where there are some two reasons, so we want to make an ang language to adapt and changing the environment and uses. Means uh, a language should <coughs> adapt the changes which our current world have and. Uh, our advanced uh, application softwares need to implement refinement and improvement in the art of the programming means that a pro programming language should uh, make programming easy for the new and also comfortable for the expert learners expert programmers motive behind the development of java was creating a platform independent language which can be embedded many of the electronic devices because we know that c and c++ were not platform independent we have to create um, if we want to create a language not language but as an application which runs on mac window linux then we have to create three programming language in C or C++ but and uh, Jobs Gosling think we should create a language which works on three and uh, its uh, language should be portable and platform independent so by using Java we can create a one application for all three platforms Java drives much of its characters from C and C++, but Java is not enhanced version of C++. Java is many different than C and C++. This defines that Java gets much of its character syntax from C++, but we cannot see say that Java is enhanced version of C++ because Java has many differences than C++. Java was developed to get rid of all problems like portability, platform independent, internet programming by applets etc. What is Java applet? Java applet is a special kind of Java program that is designed to be transmitted over the internet and automatically execute inside a Java compatible web browser. It's the uh, same as a web application we can say that it's a uh, we can implement java applet on web or web browser which support the java our java applets relied on the java browser plugin this for an applet to 
work, the browser must support it. Recently, support for the Java browser plugin has been waning. Simply put, without browser support, applets are not viable. Means to run Java applets, we need a plugin to support for the Java JDK applications. Because of the beginning with the Java JDK 9, the phase out of application was begun, the support for the applets being duplicated. After JDK 9, support for the JDK to the browser has been deprecated and in the language of java deprecated means that a feature is still available but flagged as absolute i hope you understand deprecated means deprecates a feature which is available to use but uh, <coughs> not using frequently this a deprecated feature should not be used for new code the space out became complete with the release of JDK 11 because support for applets was removed. After JDK 11, support for applets was removed. Then here another development or progress in the Java which J Java Web Start. Java Web Start enabled an application to dynamically download from the web page. It's uh, take the place of Miss Java Web Start replaced the Java applet after JDK 9. It was a development mechanism. Deployment mechanism that was especially useful for the larger Java applications that were not appropriate for the application for applets. The difference between an applet and a web start application is that web start application runs on its own, not inside the browser. And this was security issue with applets which get read by read off by the java web start applets was uh, like an inside browser but it has a own part inside browser where send java sandbox known as where java web start runs beginning of the jdk 9 java web start support has been removed Oh, oh, JDK it's, it's uh, also removed when Java JDK 11 starts. JLink tool Java has no support in the modern version for the applets and web starts, so Java introduced JLink with JDK 9. It can create a complete runtime image that includes all necessary support for your program including GRE. We are learning here history and evolution of the Java so don't be confused with the in and out of the versions. And then Java servlets. A servlet is a smart program that executes on server. Servlets are used to create dynamically generated content that is then served to the client. For example, an, an online store might use a servlet to look up the price for an item in the database. The price information is then used to dynamically generate a web page that is sent to a browser although dynamically generated content was available through the mechanism such as CGI common gateway interface. The servlet offers services for the advantages including increased performance. Because a servlet like all Java programs are compiled into bytecode and executed by the JVM they are highly portable. I hope you are understanding my language is very easy and uh, easy to learn for all of those all of you but uh, when I <coughs> feel you need some more expression explanation I will try to explain in my own words Java security Java achieve the protection by enabling you to confine an application to Java execution environment and prevent it from accessing other parts of the computer means Java security because we know that Java created to be as platform independent and secure code. So Java when we run Java applications in any of computer platform, Java computer cannot use the <coughs> cannot use other parts of the Java application just it runs 
hidden computer. You will see how this is accomplished shortly. The ability to download programs with a degree of confidence that no harm will be done may have been single most innovative aspect of Java. Portability Java provides portable interpreted bytecode which can run any system by just help of JVM. Means this was program uh, program is pro problem where portability comes with Java which provides the interpreted bytecode means it's uh, intermediate between the executed JRE and code it's interpreted in the bytecode which can run of any of platform it uh, can be a Windows platform Linux platform or Mac platform by just help of JVM has a uh, some brief introduction to the java magic or the bytecode which we are by which java uh, get rid of problems of the uh, interference uh, java portability and uh, platform independency <clears throat> bytecode is a highly optimized set of instructions designed to be executed by what is called the java virtual machine which is part of the java runtime in essence the original jvm was designed as an interpreted interpreter for the bytecode the fact that a java program is executed by a jvm also helped to make it secure because the jvm is in control it manages program execution this it is possible for the jvm to create a restricted execution environment it's called sandbox as we discussed earlier, Java create a sandbox to run their application in any of platform. So computer cannot use its, its uh, code to execute the program that contains the program preventing unsteady access to the machine. Safety is also enhanced by the certain restrictions that exist in the Java language. Although Java was designed as an interpreted language, this is nothing about Java that prevents the on-the-fly compilation means of bytecode into native code in order to boost performance. For this reason, the hotspot technology was introduced not long after Java's initial release. Hotspot provides a just-in-time compiler for the bytecode. When a JIT compiler, just in time compiler is part of JVM, the time JIT compiler for the bytecode. When a JIT compiler is a part of the JVM, selected portion of the bytecode are compiled into executable code in the real time and the piece by piece demand passes. I hope this is going well. So I'm going further and uh, it is important to understand that the entire Java program is not compiled in executable code all at once. It's discussed previously that by the help of JIT, it's uh, compiled piece by piece in simple pieces and because of hotspot technology. Beginning with the JDK 9, some Java environments will also support in a bit of time ahead of time compiler that can be used to compile bytecode into native code prior to execution by JVM rather than on the fly means uh, after the beginning of Java RGT 9 uh, ahead of time compiler introduced which uh, compile bytecode into native code before running on JVM <laughs> then we are going to discuss about versions how it's introduced comes from one version to our latest version so we are going to discuss about Java versions and features which are introduced by that version there are some releases schedules of the JDKs 1 JDK 1 and 1.1 there are new libraries introduced. This occurs after the J after Java after 1995 because it's the first portable 
I mean, port to prototype comes after 18 months of a struggle in 1995. That was version zero, and uh, after the that version, that one after 1.0, the 1.1 was comes, and uh, which comes with a new libraries introducing new ways to event handling reconfigurations many features of io then java 2 or second generation of java 2 standard edition 1.2 add support for the swing collection framework enhanced jvm and some programming tools method duplicated like uh, as you mean by the duplicated that's these methods are absoluted now and suspend resume stop and of thread class then 1.3 sorry for the this uh, latest configuration i am i <coughs> mislead some information in this slide but uh, i hope now this is understandable this 1.3 versus source source code compatibility comes in with uh, version of 1.3 and then 1.4 just keyword assert comes in chain express exception channel based io sub systems then versus version 1.5 the generics annotations auto boxing and auto unboxing enumerations enhanced for loop variable length arguments static imports and concurrency utilities comes in jdk 1.5 5 then with 1.6 it was enhanced api library some new packages and some improvements to the runtime after the version 1.7 java was acquired by the oracle from the sun microsystems it starts java strings now can control switch statement means before 1.1.7 and string can not be used as as the conditional statement of the switch but after the 1.7 now string also can be controlled to the switch statement binary integer literals comes in underscores and the numeric literals means underscores we understand it uh, by java as a numer numeric not a just a sign expand Try statement, try with resources which support auto multi automatics resource management. Then type interface we are the diamond operator when constructing a general instance. Enhanced exception handling, two or more exceptions can be caught, multi catch and better type checking for the exception that are thrown. More control over warnings, enhancement in an NIO <coughs> sorry network and addition of the fork join framework which provides support for the parallel programming by simplifying the creation and use of the task that can execute concurrently and automatic making use of the multiple processors so we can create scalable applications which can advantage of the available processors what jdk 1.8 Eight lambda expressions and lambda inspired features like a stream API function interface and function interface and interfaces comes in. Then Java uh, comes Java time and data, data API time attenuations the ability to use parallel programming when sorting an array among others. With the uh, JDK nine or uh, sorry for one point nine introduce models JLink tool new file type J mode and introduce j shell which j shell which is used as interpreted tool where, where we can run our code without save we will also uh, i will give you some introduction to j shell also j shell also so be patient search features to java doc new tag the index and 1.10 adding support for the local variable type interface where which a context center sensitive identifier by which mean a variable can identify the type of the data type by the value of variable 1.11 networking api comes and http client api JavaFX becomes separate gui project so now it's not included in jdk means uh, 
before JDK 1.11, Java FX or Java Graphical User Interface API comes with a JDK, but now it is separated from JDK and uh, another project. Thank you. This was some introduction to and history and evolution of the Java and uh, our next lecture will be overview of the Java how what is Java and how it works so please support me by subscribing and uh, thanks for watching this and uh, if you are new to my channel then please hit my bell, bell icon to get this new lecture which comes in next section thanks for this one if you have any query you can comment and uh, if you want any of lecture ahead of time then please comment i will available for you 24 7 thank you bye bye